Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial of Delinium Marketing. This is Hina and today I am going to create a simple chalkboard effect uh, that you can easily uh, create by using features of Adobe Illustrator. So let's start now. I'm creating a new, doc new document 5 into 7 inches in size. So let's start now. Color mode. I want to use the color mode right now. It's uh, CRGB. So let's go with these settings. And first of all what you need to do you have to create a simple rectangle by using shape tool I am creating the rectangle like this here and now fill it with the gradient uh, color white and black uh, and now change the gradient to a different uh, color scheme like for example I'm using the gray one and if on the place of white and now change the type is uh, radial so it will be look like this after doing these uh, changes and now what I'm going to do I will lock this layer otherwise it will displace and create hindrance in my uh, work uh, to, um, in other layers so I will press ctrl 2 to lock this layer the layer is locked now and I can work uh, on the other layers so what what I'm going to do I'm creating another uh, rectangle in the same place and now I am going on the effects section and here you can use the texture and choose crane from here I want to create uh, some sort of crane and the uh, chalkboard effect uh, um, in my uh, uh, final output that's why I'm using this one otherwise if you don't want then you can skip it but I want to show you how it will be look like after making these changes so the first of all what I'm using I'm using the grain type should be soft uh, you can also work on the different uh, 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 settings like uh, sprinkles in the sprinkles it will be look like this so you can also decrease something like this but I don't want to use it I want to use the soft one and increase the intensity to around uh, I think decrease it it not it should be more blinded and more uh, real and natural looking so that's why I want to keep it low and uh, 45 is enough but the contrast level should be high because if you will increase the contrast then it will be look like this here you can see in the preview so it will be look like this that's why I'm using the contrast value is around 77 so these settings are okay so let's press okay to it and now it will be look like the next thing is that I want to go into the transparency if you don't know how the transparency will come up then you can come over here and here you can press shift control f10 to intact your transparency tool um, I've already intact the transparency so I'm using from here and you can change the blending mode from here to soft light so it will be look like if I when I change the blending mode you can also play with the other for example the overlay and the hard light so it will be it will create a different options for you it multiply as well but I want to go with the soft light so it it provides a more natural looking uh, uh, effect uh, in my uh, background that's why I want, I want to use it now the next step is very important you have to go and play with the pen brush now click on it just to check the tolerances and the fidelity of this uh, paint brush the fidelity level is around 8.5 and the smoothness is zero and I will go with these settings so press ok here and now check how the brush tool will work on now First of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose the basic one from here and uh, now click on it and you can see how the things will be look like. Now just turn off this fill, up fill color and I want to work on the stroke here and now turn off the fill color and only work with the stroke. Now uh, as you can see the you know there is some sort of effect when I press the brush uh, uh, panel and so what you, you can do you can just go into the, your brushes panel by pressing F5 from uh, uh, from keyboard otherwise you can come over here and here you can find the brushes here so my brushes are already here and I have used the 
uh, default uh, brush that is the bristol uh, brush so i am using this one if you want you can create the custom brushes as well my you can uh, check the tutorial uh, in my channel um, by regarding the brush so you can check uh, um, check it out and you can create your own and custom brushes if you want but i right now i'm using the default uh, bristol brush so i will do the changes in this one so what you can do, you can define different settings from here just to provide a more realistic uh, effect of the chalkboard. First of all, I will go with the shape that is the round fan. And here you can increase the size to around 100 mm. And uh, here you can define the uh, length is around uh, 2. Yeah, you can you can preview it just turn off the turn on this preview mod and you can see how the things will be going as you will change the value so i will choose it will be i think 269 is good so now the bristol density it will be around uh, so make it little lower and so i think this is enough and now the thickness will come up and thickness will be around uh, you can use the 62 and then the paint opacity opacity is very important you need to make sure how the things will be look like because it will create a more realistic and more uh, you know natural look to your uh, uh, chalkboard effect so i want to keep it in between translucent if, for example if i will go to the translucent side so it will be look like this i want to make it you know more on the opaque side so it will be look like this then and now the next uh, important uh, uh, step is to define the stiffness the stiffness is basically very important so check it out how it will be look like when i will choose the stiffness from here like uh, i want to go with the i think this one is enough okay so i i want to go with these settings at the moment so let's uh, check it out how it will be come out uh, when i when, when we will apply the texture here so now make sure the color you can also change the color settings from here as well so i want to go with the gray one so you can check it like this and if you want to create more side then you can make it around 70 percent opacity is around or the 80 percent is enough i think so what i'm going to do i will create different textures or the different uh, i will take this paint brush uh, and I will define the texture in this way so it will be look like this now what I'm going to do I will select each and every layer in uh, like this and uh, here you can uh, increase it or decrease it whatever you want to do just to create a more realistic effect uh, so just to show you how it will be look like when you will do these settings I want to press ctrl Z again okay so it will be look like after making making these uh, changes so what i'm going to do next uh, i will create another rectangular layer to this and now keep it off the filling will be cut off and now here select each and everything and press the right click on it and make a clipping mask so you can see your the background or your uh, big four doing all these sense of changes one thing is very important as control z so what i'm going to do i will release the clipping mask here and now i'm going to take this layer off and here i want to select each and everything go to end object and unlock all because i have created different locking of layers so it will unlock each and every layer and now you can create a simple layer here to make a clipping mask turn it off with the color and now make it make a clipping mask so it will look like this so these are the things that we want to i want to show you uh, to create a uh, chalkboard effect this is very simple very easy and uh, you can do this absolutely vector and you can use it in your graphics in your creatives uh, to create chalkboard effect or the chalkboard background as well thank you so much for watching i will come back to you another tutorial subscribe to my channel have a very good day bye bye